Welcome to the Casio FXCG1020 help series for the Casio Prism. This is the FXCG1020, also known as the Casio Prism. It's a quick introduction on how to use it and some of the functions. Right now I'm in the main menu. I'll press Execute to go into Run Matrix. The uh, Run Matrix has natural display, which everything looks the way it should in the calculator. So for example, if you've got fractions, those look like fractions. Just go ahead and type them in. You've got natural display, simplified radical form. So if you want to take the square root of 24, for example, you get the simplified radical answer. You can mix and match your templates. So 1 over the square root of 3, for example, will look the way it does in a textbook. Execute that. You get your simplified radical answer. Other great features include full statistics menu. In the stats menu, you can go ahead and do some quick graphing, see a linear regression, calculate a regression for that line. Go ahead and draw it right over the top of your data set. Uh, this, you can also find quickly um, some statistics, one or two variable statistics, including modes, if there are any in one variable stats. Tells you the frequency and the number of modes. We'll just hit exit here. We'll go back to menu. You can also do graphing in color. We've got two functions selected here. Notice how quickly it draws. Using plus and minus keys, you can zoom in and out. Using the arrow keys, you can move up and down and manipulate the window. Using graph solve, you can do things like find the intersections, for multiple intersection points. You can also drop points of intersection onto the screen itself. Going back into the menu, there is a conic menu grapher, so you can go ahead and graph your conic sections. We'll just go ahead and graph a quick ellipse. It says A and B have to be greater than zero, so let's make B2, for example. Will it draw? Again, you can use the zoom key to zoom in and out, plus and minus, find all the interesting parts like the vertices in the center with a simple button press. Going back into the menu, we also have geometry, including powerful things like um, animations. Go ahead and edit that animation, let it go once as it traces point D along AB. Anything that would have been attached to D would also animate dynamically. And one of my favorites, the picture plot. In picture plot, you can do mathematics right on pictures and also flipbook animations like this is a flipbook animation. You can trace the path of the fish. You can find a regression for that equation. Go ahead and draw it quickly and interact directly with the math that way. So that's the uh, intro to the Casio FXCG1020 help series. If there's any videos that you would like to see done that aren't on the help series, feel free to email Casio and I'm sure those can get done. Um, but there's your quick introduction to the help series.